students here with its first, second, third year, or even if you're like a mature student, um, the opportunity to have their own show. So um, they'll release application forms, and you've got you've obviously you've got to prove yourself. You've got to say like what show you want to do and, and why you should do it. But um, they give everyone the opportunity to have an hour slot. So yeah. once a week, um, that hour is completely down to you. You can like play anything you want, cover anything you want, like bring on guests. Like yeah, it's it's completely completely like up to you. Um, yeah, you can do anything with it really. So is Nerve like your first like? thing with radio or did you think before yeah that so I mean I used to listen to radio growing up like radio one and capital I had on quite a lot but in terms of me getting hands-on with it yeah this was the first time I got into it and is this your second year doing it? yeah so this is my second year of, on radio um, which is nice because like, I feel like I know I know what I'm doing now whereas yeah. coming in last year was, was quite daunting like yeah. I was super excited but I didn't know what I was doing yeah. like walking into that studio you've got like all the mixing desk and everything it's very overwhelming, but it's, um, it's like exciting nerves. Yeah, isn't it? definitely yeah. excited nerves. Yeah, and and you pick it up so quickly. Like everyone is so helpful and friendly. Like they ran training sessions last year to like just drop in and like, have a go, see how things work, and that was definitely really helpful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be back this year and, and know what I'm doing. Like I've got my show all set up, so um, I'm keeping the same format as last year. So last year I had um, my show was called Club These Classics. It was on a Thursday evening. Now it's a Tuesday evening, so we kick off tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it, it's basically a roundup of the top classic tunes from like 70s, 80s, 90s onwards. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I have a segment called Future Classics, which is basically like newly released songs that I think will become like a classic in the future. Um, so that's kind of yeah, an exciting yeah. part. And then this year I'm also introducing Movie Classics, which is yeah, basically big movie songs. Um, and I'll like just talk a bit about the movie, a bit about the song. Um, so yeah, so that's a little sneak peek of this year's show. <laughs> so is that like your main role at Nerve? Or? Yeah, so obviously I'm a, I'm a radio presenter, I have my yeah. own show. Uh, but also this year I'm actually head of music for the station as well. Oh, wow, which is super promotion exciting. then. Yeah, 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 I guess you can see it like that. But um, yeah, that's really exciting because it means I get to do more of the behind the scenes stuff for Nerve as a whole um, yeah. rather than just my show. But yeah. Yeah, with that, I'm essentially in charge of the music for the whole of the station, particularly daytimes. Yeah. Because um, it's split into daytimes and evenings. So if you're a daytime presenter, it's like nine till four. Um, you have to pick music from like the selection that I upload. Whereas evening shows, it's more like specialist content. So people would do like sports shows or like maybe like a rock show or whatever. Um, but I'm essentially in charge of all the musical output. So, so a bit like a DJ. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. All the song choices are down to me. Yeah. So. But I do take requests as well. Yeah, what, like phone call requests? Or? Well, phone calls is something we haven't had a chance to set up yet, but I know Dan, the tech guy from this year, he's really on it. Like, he wants to get these phone-ins yeah. phone sorted, because I think that would be really cool. Like, imagine yeah, like, just that would doing be really the show, cool. like on Radio 1 with people <laughs> yeah. like that. Like, like, we're joining with this person today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun. So hopefully he can get that sorted. But yeah, for now, just like Instagram requests or like okay, people yeah. messaging and yeah. It's, it's Is cool. it all like student based or like? Yeah, so um, everyone that runs it uh, and everyone that presents are all students. Um, across a mixture of years, like we have first year, second year, but also like more mature students. Yeah. Um, I know the committee for this year are all second year, apart from the head of station who is third year. Okay. But everything is completely student led. Yeah. yeah, wow. Is there like how many people are on a team normally? So the committee this year is made up of eight people. So it's um, head of the station, then deputy, then head of evenings, daytimes, and then me who's head of music, um, then a head of tech, and then two social techs as well. Um, and then I think we've got about 60 different shows. So there's oh, a wow. lot of presenters. Yeah. Like it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a big team of people. That's, that's really cool. Is there like auditions for it or like? So the process, you had to fill out an application form and the demand for this year was cr was crazy. Like the interest was so big. So yeah. I know a few people did get turned away, but um, you've just got to prove yourself really. Yeah. Like you've got to, yeah. got to make it known why you want to show. Like, you know, loads and there's going to be many involved. opportunities as well in the oh, future. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Is there any like um, like radio stations that you're inspired from, or, like your base now? Yeah. Off maybe? So growing up, I listened to Radio One a lot, um, also Capital, and I think that's where a lot of my not my ideas, but kind of how to present myself came from, yeah. like listening to that. And yeah. now I develop my show like over a year. I, I've worked out what works and what doesn't, and and what I want to include and what I don't. And I think the ground knowledge I got from listening listening to those stations when I was younger, I definitely have carried on to, yeah. to my presenting, but 
it's nice now I've kind of figured it out for myself. Yeah. yeah. Do you have like many like listeners or like viewers or whatever? Because obviously like Spotify yeah. and everything is so popular now. So I'm, I'm just wondering like. Yeah, so yeah. that's the thing. Obviously like now streaming platforms have, have come out and yeah. don't, not as many people listen to radio. But I think for me personally, I get a lot of listeners by, like, by my family and friends. Aww, it's really nice to know. Like, people drop me a message like, yeah. oh, like I'm listening to your show, which, which is really nice. But yeah, I think for Nerve as a whole, obviously it's, it's always playing in the Subu. So anyone that's in and out of there, yeah. it's, it's always on. Um, I definitely think family and friends of people shows as per individuals are probably the, like the main audience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, students as a whole really. Is that your like main target audience? Then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say so, yeah. Have you had any like people phoning in or like texting as you said yeah. um, about like really weird like song requests or like any better really. reject? I I personally haven't found that. I think the in terms of rejecting songs, it's it like you've got to be careful of the lyrics really. Like yeah. one massive thing, the only rule we really have is no swearing yeah. whether that's on air presenting or whether that's in the songs like obviously you don't hear radio one and, and capital and other stations yeah, like that like course. with all the bad language like it's just not professional and yeah even though we're a student station that's still something that's kind of like grained in like no no language no bad language when you're like interviewing people or other and like do you, you have to tell them like not to swear yes ever, yeah. ever been any moments where they have accidentally sworn or no I haven't no. not as of yet but I guess That's it's good. always gonna happen at some point probably isn't <laughs> touch it? wood that doesn't happen yeah <laughs> um so is there anything like exciting coming up for now 100 percent. so we kick off this week um the first shows will go live today um so I know there's a lot of nervous new presenters <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be fine Pun intended um, there. <laughs> <laughs> and then um yeah so everyone will get to grips for the next few weeks with their shows and then I think we'll run a few socials so yeah. people can start getting to know each other and um yeah, then for me, I mean, I've got a few interviews lined up, so yeah. I'm hoping that they'll, they'll come through in the next few weeks. And Who do you like to interview? Is it like your friends? So I what? work, as head of music, mm. I work with an organisation called the Student Music Network. So they kind of, um, they give out interview opportunities. So at the moment, I've got one lined up with Henry Moody, who's quite big on TikTok, and then Eleanor Fiore, who's like an upcoming solo okay, artist. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but they. I know the people that I'm working with. Will, they also line up interviews with like Tudor Cinema Club and like some oh, some wow. massive, yeah, massive people. Big, um, yeah, yeah. So I've got those coming up as well. And then I've also got a training day in London in the next few weeks. Uh, oh, which, wow. which yeah, Radio One are running something for like all the heads of music, the student radio stations. So. Have you ever done anything like that before? No, no, I haven't. So I'm really excited. Like get down there. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, a little bit. Excited nerves, though. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, Always excited yeah. nerves. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you looking for like a career in radio, just like a more of a hobby sort of it's thing? It's definitely something I'd love to do. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I've always been passionate about it. Um, so I could see myself working in it yeah. for sure. I guess, yeah. guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so you said you like do socials with them. Yeah. Do you go out quite a lot with them? Yeah. Like so last week? year we did a massive mixture of stuff. So we had um, obviously the classic like cameo Wednesday night yeah. out, but um, we also did a pancake day social, which was super fun. Oh, yeah. We did a movie night. Um, and this other one which was called Potluck, so basically everyone like cooked a dish and like brought it along, um, tried each other's cooking, which was quite <laughs> fun. Was there any yeah. like terrible dishes or? Uh, no, everyone was actually really good. Oh wow. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> it was like pasta dishes and like I made a trifle which went down very well. Oh, I love a trifle. Oh, it was, it was <laughs> very good. Um, but yeah, no, that was really good. So I'm excited to see what we have this year. Yeah. Sure. Uh, do you have like all your friends on the Nerve team or like is it like separate, like your Nerve team and then yeah. your friends? So I have, yeah, I mean, I, in terms of my actual show, I present it by myself. So I don't like, I don't have a co-presenter dynamic or anything, but um, I know a lot of other people do, like people have shows and they like present with their course mates or like with their housemates or whatever. But um, I think for me, like radio is like a massive family and I have so many friends that are part of that, but then I do also have friends outside. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, so what type of like music do you like to play or nerve? Is it it's like a very bit diverse? everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously if you have an evening show, everyone does their own thing. So we've got shows which are like indie or like rock or pop or whatever, but across the whole of nerve, uh, we just have everything. Like, yeah. yeah, it sounds like very diverse. Of like, obviously it's student led. You have yeah, lots of different types of people, lots of different types of music. Yeah, do you quite like that about? Yeah, it? I, I love it. I think the fact that everyone can kind of present themselves like and their own personalities. And, yeah, like, everyone can do the thing they're passionate about. is yeah. it's really nice because it means yeah, people just get themselves out there. And it's nice that there's variety. Yeah, lots of different personalities. Yeah. Exactly. What would you like? What piece of advice would you give to someone who wants to go into radio or maybe join Nerve? I think just like if you're passionate about it just come along like even if you've never done it before like it is a daunting thing at first but everyone's super yeah. helpful super yeah. friendly like just come and get a feel for for how it works and everything and um 
Yeah, get hands on with it. It's can't go wrong. With it. If, <laughs> yeah. if you're if you like music, if you're interested in media, it's such a good way to get experience and get yourself out there. Is there anything things. you would like to bring to Nerve or um, got any ideas? I think just some some top tunes. Like it's yeah. all about the music for me. So yeah. like yeah, sharing music with people definitely. What's your favourite type of music? Probably like indie indie yeah. pop vibes. Some bit of rap. Bit of rap as well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think everyone likes that. Yeah. Um yeah. so do, is it like more like pop like like chart music? Um I'd say there's, there's literally everything, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks it's been a pleasure me. talking to you. I've learned so much about Nerve. I hope you guys have as well. Join us next week where we'll be joined by Piers Hopkins, a very good producer in music. Um, and thank you very much. I'll see you next week.